Yeah, all right. So thank you for joining us on You Can Learn Guitar. Click the links below. There's always something great down there Marty's got for you. So today I want to talk about, you know, dynamic play within a chord, right? Thinking of the chord as two halves of a, you know, of a song, right? So each time we hit the chord instead of washboarding, which is just Right, we're going to try to break that up. Right? <laughs> and uh Right, so you're playing both halves of the chord, the bass and the treble within, you know, the 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 measure to try to keep it interesting and and build dynamics towards your big washboard chorus. Whatever. So let's zoom in for a closer look and look at that interplay between the treble side and the bass side while you're strumming and doing your little progression, little ways you can tweak and make things a little bit more interesting. All right, so let's keep it really basic. I'm just going to do like a D, C, G, E minor, maybe to C. Right, so I'll do little incarnations of these chords, little inversions, right? So basically my C and my G are gonna be the same. I'm gonna keep my pinky and ring finger on the third fret B and E. And just go back and forth. D, you know, I'm gonna hammer on right here on the G string, second fret, I'm gonna do this. Right, so what I wanna do is, a lot of us when we play guitar, we just And that's great for, you know, your like power ballad and you're like, yeah, I love you, baby, right? Or whatever. <laughs> uh, and you want to invoke like, you know, a buildup of some kind. But a lot of the songs, you know, if you're, especially if you're dealing with the same type of chords, you want some sort of dynamics in the picking part. So let's start thinking of the guitar in two halves. Of each of the chord, I want you to think of the top half of the chord and the bottom half of the chord and the play in your picking hand between those two things. So, let's take the D. Now right there, I'm highlighting the top half of the chord. And then going down to the bottom to really get that, those notes in there and kind of make those stick out. So it's, I'm going to do the same thing when I go to the C. Right on that pass, I just stuck to the top three strings of this C, the A, the D, and the G. Let's go back to that D. Right? And it starts to create this play between the bass and the treble of the chord. And it makes it sound a lot more dynamic than just going. Right, we got. So that's just two chord. What happens if we, or what happens, there we go, <laughs> if we split it between a bunch of different chords? Let's check that out. So we got our, those two chords. Now let's add in a G. And we're gonna just go back and forth between those same chords. We got D, C,
Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. Right, and you can actually pick out more of those single notes. Now it's not something that's like, oh, I'm thinking I'm gonna hit the, the B and the G and blah, 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 blah. It's just you're strumming. I'm getting that bass part of the chord. I'll do my little riff. But just start to think and try, you know, in your guitar playing to just break up, you know, not just what we call washboard and just go straight up and down. Start to get a little bit more dynamic. You know, break out some of those other fingers, you know, mess with the chord. Right, and take your pinky off and go down and grab that note from that D chord. Nice, cool chord. You can do it with a G. Now you come in with a nice E minor chord, and that's a great sounding chord all together. So that's maybe one of those ones you can washboard. So thank you once again for joining us. You know, remember, washboarding's cool. It's got its place. But let's try some dynamics. We're getting better as guitar players. We're expanding. We're moving to new horizons. We're pushing the envelope. We're waiting for the jet to go by so it doesn't overpower my voice. There it is. <laughs> and uh, just have fun with it. You know, that, that also keeps you from getting bored. And, it, you know, it'll help spawn, especially if you start trying to be a singer-songwriter. You know, if you have a nice counter melody right highlighting the melody of what you're singing it can make things a lot more interesting so give all that stuff a shot all right catch you next time